You're listening to the Cricket Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Cricket Pod for the final segment of our audio show or this special video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, a reminder we are at the Cricket Pod on Twitter and Instagram. You should like and subscribe and share this thing, this, this podcast that we do on whatever platform you want to choose or, or use your word of mouth. Use your mouth. You don't use your word of mouth, do you? Use your mouth to do that. Uh, and we're on Patreon at the Cricket Pod if you. Um, if you want to, no, we're on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the cricket pod. If you want to support us directly, we're on 29 Patreons, Patrons. We want to get to 30 by the end of January. Be the hero. That's all I'm saying in the show notes. We're talking IPL winners. We've done the losers segment. It features Sunrisers, Hyderabad, Punjab, Kings, Rajasthan Royals, Kolkata Knight Riders, and Ahmedabad Cricket Club. <laughs> um, and now, now. Now we're on to the winners. So counting us up to the ultimate winner, we will start with fifth place. And I think I might get some pushback from you on this. Fifth place, I've got the fifth best winner of the IPL retentions. That makes no sense, but I think it also it does make sense. You understand where I'm going with this. Royal Challengers Bangalore, they retained Coley, Maxwell and Siraj for a combined 33 crore, leaving them 57 at the auction. Max, are you happy with that if you are uh, that Kiwi bloke with the, the, the glasses? Yeah, I am, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely thought you were talking about Daniel Fattori for a second and then realised you were talking about Hessen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd, I'd say so. I mean... Glenn Maxwell's the big win, isn't it? Keeping Glenn Maxwell. He's, uh, he was so mm-hmm. good um, in the World Cup and the IPL. So that was, uh, again, that was the hilarious Punjab loss. Uh, Siraj got better and better, didn't he, in, uh, in T20? Yeah, he's so quite good now, yeah. He's, he's brilliant. And, um, yeah, I mean, Kohli mm, probably... Probably brings it back down is, again, doesn't it? But, but you can't but, not pick Kohli, yeah, can you? Exactly. You, you, you get absolutely hammered. So they're kind of in a. I yeah, it's a, him. it's a catch twenty. Well, I know you wouldn't, but you're you not in charge fired. of it. You're as not soon in as charge you tried of it. To do that, you'd yeah. be fired. <laughs> you don't have a job that you need to keep. Virat make... Kohli would have been the one to fire you yeah. too. <laughs> like you don't understand how this works. <laughs> you make a side hustle out of uh, you know having to go at Virat Kohli, and that's absolutely fine. These guys make a hustle out of having Virat Kohli, and um, they yeah he, they they. I had no choice. So that's yeah, kind of kind of hamstrung. It's by okay, that, but it's, okay. it's not bad, is it? You know, Let's be honest. Siraj is probably an above average bowler. Um, well, his day he'd be very above average, but I think his career iffy. Maxwell is you know super high value. I think and Coley. I would have just liked. He's to got see... the talent to be really good. We've yeah. seen it, but um, also we've seen Paul eat a Coley, and I would have just liked to yeah. see Dev that. I would like to see that's that. That's the as thing, well. isn't it? Paddock. Yeah, I think that's be. a shame. Yeah. I think that is a shame. But he'll but, get picked um, up and he'll get picked up for a, a reasonable amount of money, I reckon. Yeah. Or KS Barrett. Um, that would have been mm. that would have been a, a great great retention. <laughs> um, so they're the fifth, fifth they're a winner though, I think we agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Neck and neck with the Ahmed baddies, who I saw yeah. them labelled as the Ahmed baddies. <laughs> fourth, fourth, fourth most successful IPL franchise at retentions they're quite a controversial one. they had a lot to choose from Mumbai Indians I've got them in fourth uh, Rohit Sharma Jasprit Bumra Surya Kumar Yadav and Polly Pollard that is to people who are uninitiated with the Mumbai Indians documentary <laughs> 42 crore 48 in the bank so they, they've spent a lot of money but they do for that money get four pretty good players Ross yeah I'm surprised you've got them this low actually I think the Mumbai Indian blueprint isn't a busted flush I, I don't now i see the order i've got them in i think they could definitely be at least one higher <laughs> <laughs> possibly possibly probably two yeah i'm, I'm, I'm saying you've got the best uh, bowler in t20 cricket yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah um you've got um kind of an unbelievable like a guy who has proven that he is an unbelievable like hitter in IPL cricket as well as give it a couple of overs from don't want always to bowl Pollard but he's fine yeah. Rohit yeah. Sharma has had and two... a great pair of mitts yeah Ro- Rohit Sharma is Rohit Sharma and he's kind of looks like he, he leads that side unbelievably well but from, from that point but again this is where I kind of agree with you a little bit Jack that Rohit Sharma is on the decline as a yeah, T20 player this is what I think him and Pollard um, I think are not yeah. bankers for the whole yeah. cycle 
Yeah, but there, there is a bit right. But the last the last year proved that actually elderly players don't, don't do too badly with the CSK thing. So actually, there could be there could be something there. And then Sky is is a I think is a good pick. Like the yeah. toss the, the coin toss between him and Kishan. I think they made the right decision with picking Sky. Hmm. Yeah, I pro- I probably agree with that. I think that would have been a really tough one to to call because Ishan Kishan in theory could be the best player in the IPL, and he could be the best player in the IPL for ten years. Um, I don't think Sky's potential is that high, and his longevity is certainly not that long. But he has been better than Ishan yeah, see, Kishan. See, that's what I, I'd, have, I'd have gone with Ishan Kishan for that uh, forward looking, especially if you're going with Rohit Sharma and Pollard. If you assume they're in there, I think you'd be mm. better off with Ishan Kishan. You know, he can kind of a... he can open as well. You know, he's, he can open or he can bat three or four. He can keep wicket. He's got a bit more versatility. It's kind of a win now yeah, strategy. It is, it is hard, isn't it? So. Yeah, I like a, it though. I like it. Yeah, it's a win now strategy, and I think that's what the IPL is about. Though sometimes they, they can talk yeah. about that kind of stuff. That's so what you need to I'm go for. Say, I have got them in the wrong order because the team I've got above them. We're all saying winners here, aren't we? You're saying maybe the second or third best. I've got them a fourth. I think I'm wrong yeah. um, after mm. talking about it. The third best luck now. Super Giants. Right, first of all, here Super Giants. For fuck's sake, man! Like, get a proper name. You can't. I don't care about your 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 company, and nobody else does. Call yourself. <laughs> call yourself the giants you know it would be super giants why is there a super in there there's not another giants in the league that you're trying to one up it's, it's... No, that's what that's what our medibad are ruined they were going to be called our medibad giants and uh, luck now have come in and called themselves super giants that's what's really at happened. least at least in some of the others you know you've got panjab kings chennai super kings that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> That's 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 uh, uh, as the Australians would say, an alpha ring right there. Um, so they could be the super night riders. They could be super night riders, yeah. Super capitals, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just, super it's just, royals. It's just, it's just annoying, and it's one of those things. Where super like, sunrisers. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the we'll talk about the players, shall we? Yeah, let's talk about the players. Kale have, Rahul. They, yeah, they've got Rahul. They've got Stoinis, Marcus Stoinis, Stoin, and Ravi Bishnoi, who we talked about on the losers section. Mm-hmm. Um, as you know, a mistake made by uh, his his former franchise. Thirty crore they've spent, which isn't loads, uh, and that means they'll have fifty nine point eight in the bank going forward. Now I've got them down as a winner, uh, and I know this won't you not might not agree with me here, but I think Kale Rahul is definitely an above average player. Uh, I think Bishnoi is definitely an above average player, and they spent a lot on Rahul, but they balance it out nicely with Bishnoi. So you have to look at what they get for the 30 crore here it's not you know if you if you break down the budget you say oh, they're spending too much on K.O. Rahul it's like sure but to to have one player you have to spend a lot like to have and then each each player below that you get like a discount kind of on the the first player if that makes mm. sense hopefully it makes sense to you yeah so if you're going to take one you, you might as well take three and I think they've for 30 crore here they've got three pretty decent players not wowed by Stoinis but he's solid I don't mind yeah. Stoinis. He's proper proper getting into have, being a T20 specialist, isn't he? He really wants to be that like excellent if you finisher could have with useful overs. any overseas player. Though, are you taking Stoinis? No, absolutely. Or not. Johnny Bairstow. Like there, you talk. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, but I don't mind. That's the thing. Like Bairstow yeah, might I go and play Test cricket. So fair, but yeah, yeah, I don't mind Stoinis. I think he because yeah. he's he's dedicated to T20, isn't he? So that's. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's there's that there, and I'm excited to see Kale Rahul. I want to see because we get to test the theory, don't we? We get to test the theory whether his uh, antics at Punjab Kings really are all the fact that he's got a terrible team around him and Anil Kumble told him not to bat properly. Do we actually get to see what KL Rahul can actually do, or will he not be seventeen? I, it wouldn't stop me at all if he turns out that he is a massive flat track bully and he's actually just an idiot that didn't realise he had to play more aggressively at Punjab Kings. Like that, you know, he if he'd he'd gone through the thought process and been like, I'm the best player, so I must play badly. Um, that's because that's what he was doing at Punjab. It wouldn't stun me at all if it turned out when he has got a good team and he doesn't actually need to play as well that he's like, oh, I'll play even better because now I've got a good team. Um, yeah. That's how you know. I don't look. I don't know him. That's Maybe he's a lovely guy, see. but he calls himself <laughs> King Legend, so I am led to believe that he's a moron. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least it's not so, Super King Legend. 
Yeah. And, and right, at, do, you, do you want to do any analysis on this team? <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think um, there's a bit where if you look at what they've, positions they've got covered, right? They've got an open bat wicketkeeper, which is sorted. They've got a finisher in Stoinis, who is l- mm-hmm. literally modelling his game on being one of the best finishers in the world and demonstrated that in the World Cup to an extent mm-hmm. and the previous IPL. He's got that experience. And then with Bishnoi, they've got not only a young spinner who can be in the side, but actually a, a proven quantity already in IPL cricket. I think actually they've 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 got a good balance there, and yeah, it just completely depends what KL Rahul turns up. I suppose every week. We don't know who else they'll pick up as well. They have got fifty nine crore. We haven't really that spoken too much about remaining budgets and stuff. There, there's a reasonably <laughs> narrow range there, but they they've given themselves a little bit of flexibility to go hard at a couple of yeah, players. They got I, the most think, out of the winners. Yeah, I think they. Yeah, I think they have. Well, they've got to pick up. I think the eight, the three players they've picked will play every game and can and contribute. Yeah. Um, if they can get five more good players uh, with all of that money, yeah. then it doesn't really matter who the others are, does it? They can just get I, can, I can see that they'll, they'll have to go for a pacer, right? Or would like, mm-hmm. the Rabada is going to be high up on their list, but because of one recency bias, two, yeah. he was a purple cap holder not two years ago. But um, Marky Wood, maybe could be um, uh, Chris Jordan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just going to rebuild Punjab Kings, but in luck now. <laughs> Padakal and Kale Rahul, that's my shout for their opening partnership. Right, that's look, we've, we're, we're running out of time a little bit. We've, we've still got to do two teams and they um, are, well, one of them is probably the biggest draw in the IPL, so we need to talk about them. And they are, we're going to talk about them now because they're second. Chennai Super Kings are the second biggest winner for me in the IPL 2021-2022 retention thing. These are proper name, that, or I need to learn what the name is. Uh, they have retained... Jadeja, Dhoni, Gaikwad, and Moeen Ali. 42 crore spent on that. 48 in the bank. I think that they have smashed it. Um, they similar to similar to RCB, they've got Dhoni in there for old time's sake. <laughs> he's not the most, he's not the most well-paid player, so they haven't made that mistake. Um, he could retire and, and they'll have loads of money at an auction in the future. Jadeja's amazing. Um, Gaikwad, you know, you you're, Looks you're good, taking him. Yeah. yeah, he's arguably the best. Well, he won the young, orange cap. Young talent. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, not yeah, that yeah. young. Yeah. What, whatever. He's, well, he's a, a wunderbloke. under 30, isn't he? And that's, Wunder, that's yeah, young. Wunderbloke. Yeah, Wunderbloke. He's a Wunderbloke. Wunderbloke. <laughs> and then Mo and Ali is, uh, is a pretty top overseas player to have as well. Gives you spin options and, and hitting options. Um, are they the second best or would anyone argue with that? Uh, I just think because of D- Dhoni, like, they won. Obviously, they're the, they're the reigning champs. They won, but Dhoni's contribution was so limited, wasn't it, last year? I think he had one game where he actually hit kind of a six, Smashed perhaps. Tom that was um, Tom Curran. Doesn't yeah, really <laughs> doesn't really count. Um. So, um, But the others, right? Jadeja is the best Indian T20 player, if not the best Indian player in the world right now. Mo Ali is an absolute top, top player. And ha- that compliments Mo- Moeen, compliments Jadeja really well in that lineup. And then, mm. as you say, Guy Quad. And now he's out of the England test team as well for good. That'll be helpful for, for them it's, and for him. It's, it's so, coming home again, isn't it? Yeah. So. Uh, they, the thing that, that might undo them is that they'll buy all the old men back and try it one more time. But... <laughs> I said that would be a problem last year. And Batty Raidu, Suresh Raina, yeah. back in the fold. Yeah. Uh, Harbajan, he actually did Bravo. retire, didn't he? But yeah, they, might gone. they might they might get him out of retirement. You don't know. Well, as Sonil um, Gavaskar right. never retired, has he? <laughs> According to him, <laughs> fellas, last last team in this uh, in this little little micro show, the biggest winner of the IPL auction. Not it's not the bloody auction, is it? The, it's uh, the, the big, retention the, list. The best retention list winner. That doesn't. That's just stupid name for it. They need a yeah. Yeah, it's stupid uh, because you didn't think of this through. <laughs> you were talking about it. <laughs> The best retainers, the champion retainers. The best retainers, the champion retainers. Hmm. The kings are keeping their players. Delhi, I came up with it on the spot. It was okay. I'd say I give, <laughs> I give myself seven out of ten for that. Delhi Capitals, they have kept Rishabh Pant, uh, Aksha Patel, pretty sure, Anrik Nokia, 42 crore spent, which is a lot. Gives them not too much to play with at the auction, but they have got four absolute star players there, I think. Um, nailed on certainties to play they cover all different roles um I, I love what they've managed to achieve which is basically have a list of players and pick the best four ross yeah having the strongest contingent of domestic players is typically a good, good thing because <laughs> yeah. it allows you yeah. to fill your overseas spots 
we're filling the gaps, right? Yeah, in one of these, in, in these situations, having the best players in the first place was definitely an advantage. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <it's>, uh... <laughs> but like in, in this squad, like like, like, like Anrik Nokia is definitely like is, that's a great person to just be like. They had to pick between him and Rabada. They went with someone who was a better track record one. last year. Last year, um, and actually, like I'm pretty sure he had a torrid IPL two IPLs ago. But then last year was supreme. Pan is obviously their captain and actually just the super, a supreme talent. And then with Shaw, they've, they've got a long-term pick there who actually knows his craft really well, knows how to bowl in those conditions. Um, he's not brilliant with the bat. I think he bats a little bit too high for them last year. I assume year. we're talking Akshaw here rather than Shaw. Yeah, he but, uh, we are talking yeah. about. No, he's not heard. Pretty sure he's bowling. Pretty sure he's remoulded himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, it's good. Left arm off spin. Oh, it's good, yeah. isn't it? It's a good, it's a, it's a good selection they've it's got good. there. Can't can't uh, can't pick too many holes in that. And you look like they spent almost exactly the same as KKR. And then you prepare, you compare like for like each one. You know, you maybe would take Chakravarti over Akshar Patel, and that's it, isn't it? I think you probably would, but yeah, yeah. that is it. Yeah, um, I, they yeah. You put in context maybe... on that KKR, they're fucked. <laughs> 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 right, fellas. Any final words on this? I know people have got to head off. Uh, no, all good. Uh, looking forward I to the that. auction. Well, I'm looking forward to it as well. It's only two or three weeks away now. 12th, 13th of February. Yeah. As always, never really clear if you can't speak Hindi. Um, <laughs> but, but we're, but, well, I think yeah. on that on that front, I think when it comes to the okay. auction, we'll have a load of shows building up to that, yeah, figure, yeah, yeah, figuring yeah. out who they're going to do. We, cetera, we, should do so. a, we should do a top 20 players at the auction or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like something, something along those lines. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for listening and watching. Patreon.com forward slash the cricket pod. We need one more person to take us to 30. You know, one more. Could Max, you could do it. No, I did, did it before, didn't I? It was it <laughs> cost, me, tra- that. <laughs> cost um, me transaction fees. <laughs> very small transaction fees. Well done, Max, uh, <laughs> at the cricket pod. Um, see you later, everyone. Thanks for listening and watching. You're listening to the Cricket Podcast.